Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you, um, not show you, but kind of tell you uh, what exactly is it, everything that you need to know to be able to solve literal equations. And basically, you know, when we're looking into solving equations, you know, you first learn how to solve a one-step equation, right? And then we worked into three or two-step equations. Um, then we kept on getting on. Then we got into like multi-step, where now we're bringing in parentheses, right? 3x minus 1 plus x equals 17. And I'm just making up some examples. Um, and then we got into one where there's variables on both sides, right? So you got like 2x minus 17 equals 3 times x plus 1, right? And there, so here's like kind of all the different linear equations that we talked about. And now we're getting into solving literal equations. And the difference between a literal equation and what we've previously done is these equations, you can see we only have one variable, right? And in this example, we have x. But we've also solved for a, b, p, m, n, y. Um, when we're dealing with the literal equation, the difference with the literal equation is you're going to have either two or more variables. And that's basically it. You can have an equation with all variables, or you can have an equation with um, you know, two variables and you know, some extra uh, some numbers as well. So when, what we need to know to be able to solve literal equations is one, understanding what exactly is a literal equation, and two, understanding how we solve each and every one of these. The one step, the two step, the multi step, the multi step with the variable on both sides. Because basically, when we're solving a literal equation, when we solved all these equations, we always got a value, right? x equals this, or your variable equals this. Well, when we solve literal equations, we're not going to have a specific number. We're going to have an expression in terms of another variable as the answer. However, the process and everything that all the operations that we're going to be using are going to be based off of what we learned for solving um, linear equations. So again, what you basically need to do for literal equations is obviously know what a literal equation is. And then two, know the inverse operations as well as the reverse order of operations. Um, as long as you can go and do that, you will be perfectly fine for this course. And I look forward to working with you. Thanks.